Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome to another video for Cowshed TV. We're on to part three of our series of show preparation tips and this time we visited British white breeder Keith Harding who hosted a fantastic showing workshop for us to give us some advice on how to wash and groom your animals ready for the show ring. So let's go! We've roped Dad in as our glamorous assistant once again for this demonstration, so starting out by giving your animal a proper soak with clean water will make sure that any detergents you use next will make their way right down to the skin and catch all that dirt and dust. Try and soak every part of the animal, including their head, under their armpits and their feet as well. Using a bucket of soapy water, we usually use fairy liquid for this, use a brush to scrub every part of the animal really thoroughly, starting at the head and finishing at the tail. Take extra time on places which maybe have longer hair or tend to collect the most dirt like the head and the neck, as well as the knees, brisket and hocks where they'll tend to get yellow stains. For British Whites, using a purple shampoo on any areas which are stained yellow can be really useful in bringing them back to that silvery white colour after a few washes. The final rinse is the most important as you'll want to remove all the dirt you just brought to the surface as well as any shampoo or detergent you just used. Rinse thoroughly from front to back, top to bottom, make sure to get every last bit because if you leave any soap in the coat it can cause flaky skin and sometimes even hair loss. Next up, Paul Pennington brought along his show box to let us know what equipment he takes to a show as well as a few suggestions for grooming products that you might want to use. With British Whites, we tend to show them fairly bare as they will have a very fine, smooth coat in the summer, which lays quite flat and tends to look best just with a little shine spray. Linked in the kit list in the description box are a couple of products which you can use for this, along with a chalk block for any stains, brushes or combs for the body and tail, as well as hairspray to set the tail, and finally some hoof oil if you want to give a finishing touch. But really, how you turn your animal out is completely up to you, and there are hundreds of products out there, so I'd just say find something simple that works best for you and go with that. Paul also explained that he brings along plenty of feed pans and water buckets, as well as his own hose pipe, as that's what he likes to use, and shows generally don't provide those. A muck fork is essential, as well as any passports, tickets and TB forms the show might want to see. You'll need working halters and neck straps, and spares of these are really useful just in case, uh, along with your show halters, ropes and white coats for judging. As I said, I've included a kit list in the description box with some links to examples which I've split into essentials and then sort of extras, things which are nice to have and might make the job easier, but you certainly don't need all of these things if you don't want to. So that was it for the morning session of the showing workshop. Paul and his wife Catherine, along with their youngest son James, also provided a superb barbecue of British white beef burgers for lunch, which were fantastic and helped us all warm up on a chilly day before we started the afternoon session, which was all about ring craft and handling your animal in front of the judge. Everyone had a chance to have a go at leading some animals in a sort of mock show ring scenario, which was really helpful in preparation for next time where we'll actually be off to a show to see how you can put all of this together on the day. And that's what's coming up in part four, so stay tuned for that. And parts one and two will be linked below if you need to catch up on the series so far. A big thank you to our hosts, Keith and Roe Harding, for the show workshop, as well as the Pennington family and everyone else who came along and joined in on the day. I've been Sarah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.